Visit MikeThompson.com. Your adventure starts here at Mike Thompson RV. Hey, welcome back. It's Hammer. You're watching Happening Now with Hammer. Did you notice something? My bus isn't here today. Why is that, Brandy? Somebody took my bus. Uh, well, this thing's taking up all the space, so... Well, what is this thing? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> today, guys, we've got the guys from Mike Thompson RV. Or Thompson's. If you go online, it's Thompson. I got corrected last time we did this, so I got to be very precise on that. But I've got a Winnebago behind me, and what's really cool is they're a lot of fun. Guys, you can go anywhere. You can take your kids, your family. I don't care if it's you just have it out in, in the driveway and you want to spend an, an evening playing cards outside. Right, Mike? Isn't that a good idea? Amazing. Take it anywhere. So this is Mike from Mike Thompson's RV. And we got Dito. Dito, how are you doing? Buddy, I'm good. It's a, it's a nice place to be with that Winnebago back there. I love it. Well, I, can I keep it? For about another hour. Oh, come on. I guys. would just get to write them up. What are you Wait. talking about? <laughs> Wait a minute. Do, can we like Rochambeau for this? Or? Yeah, yeah, right? Exactly. I kind of want it. Hey, Brandy wants it too. I got kids. I wasn't going to take them, but you know. That's like a perfect <laughs> size, guys. I mean, you must sell a lot of those. Fits right into a parking lot, actually, or to a driveway. You know, I don't think it would fit right inside. That's like a car would. You can go to the market in it. Right, Mike? Yeah, a second vehicle if you want or you can take it uh on a trip and if you want to stay at a hotel you can you don't have to find parking because you have a huge rv you have something manageable now does it have a bathroom and all that in it kitchen and it everything? does yeah it's got a bathroom it's got a refrigerator it's got an awning it's got a pop top on it in case you, you can sleep four in that little rv right there that's incredible, especially for the size of it. I mean, my VW bus is that size. You know what's cool about those two? When you tailgate, the tailgating usually doesn't happen in the RV, so it's a perfect thing to go out tailgate. You have a lot of space outside, whereas you take a big RV, you take up all your space with the RV. Well, and doesn't it cost a lot more if you bring a big RV if you're going to go tailgating like a football or something? It costs a lot more, yeah. So that's, that's the thing to do with This it. one can park in the regular parking and be used as a tailgate machine. And you've got everything in there. Yeah. And the gas mileage is insane on these. Oh, I would imagine. So how, what? where can I take this thing? This thing, I can go all, all the way across the U.S., right? I can go anywhere on this. A lot of people are right now. Yeah, self-contained vehicle. So that means that you can go in any camping spot and then you can go a lot of the free places that are available for sure. Brandy, are you doing any camping lately? Not a big camping fan. No. Yeah. You used to be. I did. Yeah, yeah it, before I had kids, and then it just became like a ton of work. <laughs> yeah. You know, nobody helped me. Nobody helped you? Yeah, I you can't know, because I did all the barbecuing, I did all the cleaning, I did the chasing of the kids, you know. I didn't get to sit by the fire and drink, you know, so I just, it just oh, wasn't, that doesn't wasn't sound all that good. fun for me so anymore. Let's, let's, you and I, will take this one out, and I'll do all the cleaning and cooking, and that's, guys... You heard that. I, I so, might even pay money to see that. Yeah. Well, what I'm thinking is, guys, you go down to Mike Thompson, you get one of these, tell your wife, guys, you do all the cleaning and cooking so the brandies and the ladies don't have to. Right, guys? That's right. And you say that, but a lot of the guys <laughs> want to go camping and they'll do all that stuff because sometimes the wives don't want to go. or And and so they go there and the guys get to, to do all the handiwork. It's a cool thing. Well, I would imagine. I mean, this is a small one, but you can get so much larger where you, you feel like you're staying in a hotel anyway, right? Absolutely. You can so, pull a trailer? Like small, if you want to go uh, do the like, off roading, bring 3, dirt 000, bikes or? 3,000 pounds with that unit. So, okay. small trailer, absolutely. Small trailer. So, what's your best story on the people you've sold or the camping tricks that you've done, Dino? You know, you know I, I got to tell you, just because I live in, um, in the Orange County area, you could just go just about anywhere close by. Don't have to spend a lot of money. Like these big rigs that people buy, and that you see them, they go. They come back if they trade them in for a bigger unit. They'll have three to five thousand miles on a new coach because everything's right there: the beach, Santa Barbara, the desert, the mountain. Everything was within it's within two two hours. I mean, you can go to Santa Barbara in two hours and be there. Carpinteria. You got Builton up there. You've got Bolsa Chica right here in Huntington Beach. You got Newport Dunes. I mean, there's just a ton of things that you can go do Geography. right around the area and not spend all the money on, or not even just the gas, but the time to get there. I mean, you're camping as soon as you park that thing. But aren't these places down here real expensive, or is there some great deals? There's some great deals, especially for a short coach like that. And really, 
you think about the money that you spend on a hotel, how much is that, Mike? You, you've, you've done that before with a, a buying a, a hotel for, for your kids. These days it's 450 a night. I mean, yeah. to stay anywhere decent, right? Oh, yeah. That's, that's resort fees, yeah, I mean, uh, $40 a night parking. I mean, the whole deal. It's, it's a fortune. Plus, it, it's an experience. You know, Brandon, you got kids. Everybody's got kids. The kids are going to ones are, that are going to really benefit from this thing. That's what I think. My kids love camping. That was just their favorite thing to do, just get dirty and do whatever the hell they wanted, you know? Well, it's a disconnect, too, because, you know, let's put the phones away and let's go get in the camper and go somewhere. I grew up camping, and we didn't have cell phones back then. And as soon as you, I mean, like three, five, ten days before the trip, it was the, we're getting on this trip, we're packing the, my dad was, you know, I'm a former Marine, my dad was a DI in the Marine Corps. We'd, we'd already be packed it, and in the coach at, two o'clock in the morning and we'd be out in Yuma by six o'clock in the morning, man. It, it was, that's the way it went. And those memories, crazy, man. My mom would pack that thing with, with uh, sandwiches and all that. And, and that's what, it's, that's still available. That's what I love about camping is that it's still available. It's, you, you know, that whole feeling is still available that you're going to go somewhere that it, it bonds people. Right, Mike? Yeah. Think about all the things we've lost over the years, the traditions and things just due to the growth of, the country that we haven't lost that great pastime of RVing, getting out with the family and most marshmallows, burgers, breakfast in the morning, s'mores. Well, didn't things change a lot? I mean, Dino, you and I were talking off camera. Didn't things change a lot after 9-11? Yeah, what happened in 9-11 was the United States became more patriotic for one and people didn't want to fly out and people didn't want to uh, go to Europe and things like that. They it didn't just, want to be away from their family. And they didn't want to be with their family. So RVs saved the day. I mean, the RVs that you seem to see today is because uh, the ladies that wanted to go camping were like, hey, we don't want to go in fuchsia and ma mauve carpeted, shag. You know, shag carpeting. So it became cherry wood, slide outs, uh, just beautiful kitchens and all that stuff that made women want to go. And so that's what happened to the RV industry. I'm telling you, everything was revolutionized. It changed the whole roughing it, you know, aspect of it. You know, it's it's glamping, right? Now you want to go, yeah. don't you, Brandy? Well, I mean, you know, I, I've, I've done the RV <laughs> thing cooking. too, you know, but... But even in the cheapest trailer now, it's glamping. I mean, the, the cheapest trailers we carry still have... All it's just easier, you know, yeah, you it's, have, it's a lot easier. you have a refrigerator, you have a toilet, you, you know what I mean? So it just makes it a little bit easier. Oh, a lot easier. I mean, come on. It's like, you're just pulling your house with you. You got everything. Pretty yeah. Much. When folks walk in that have, haven't been inside of an RV for a long time, they are so blown away by what's going on out there. It's, I mean, it's like taking your home with you, but when you get there, the awning's out and, you know, a fire still smells like a fire and the bacon still smells like bacon outside when the, you know, I used to go outside and start making the bacon and the coffee and the kids would come out and it just, it's all American. What, what about, uh, Mike, what about the guys and gals that, you know, they really want to try this, but they're a little nervous because they're not really mechanical. Is, is that, is that a real, is that a problem at all? If you can drive a car, you can drive an RV. So not a problem at all. And they're as reliable as a car, I'm sure. As reliable, for sure. That one right behind you will go a couple hundred thousand miles. Oh, plus, I'm and sure. And if you could plus, push a button, yeah. you can own an RV right now. You'll never go 200,000 <laughs> miles, but if you wanted to, you could. See, that's what I'm talking about. It makes it so easy nowadays. People are so hooked to their cell phones. I mean, Brandy, your kids probably on the cell phones 24-7, right? That's, why they, that's what they do. I would say to you guys out there, Put the cell phones away. Take the kids out for the weekend. What is it going to cost me? Can I, what's what? What do they start at, guys? The RVs. Yeah, I mean, is it, I mean, a payment wise. Let's say I want to, you know, I've got a small family. I want to, you know, I've got a small truck, and I want to take the kids out. What 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 would I do? We advertise a ninety nine dollar a month payment for a small trailer that'll you can pull with most SUVs or small trucks. That's amazing. I mean, and you, then they obviously the sky's the limit. But it's long-term financing. People don't know that. So they go out and buy a Suburban or something large, and it's shorter-term financing in their payments, $1,200, $1,500 a month. You buy the same priced RV, and it's $600 a month, $700 a month. And right now, I'm hearing with the pandemic being over, but people are still, I mean, they, you know, we've got another surge of people just wanting these trailers and being out. And what, what did they say? How many are on the road nowadays? I mean, it's a crazy number. They said this year 11 million RVs will be out camping. That just is 
mind boggling. <laughs> you know, no wonder there's. The, we were the, talking earlier about the campgrounds are crowded and hard to get into. That's that's not really true because the campgrounds are always crowded and hard to get into this time of year. You talk about California. It's true, yeah. You, have to, you have to book some of these places months in advance, sometimes a year in advance if you want to, you know, go to like Pismo Beach or, you know what I mean? The, yeah, the, you like a Mission ahead. Bay or something along those lines, you know. Mission Bay is my favorite. That it's Camp so Land, fun, yeah, right? Camp Land on the Bay. They always there. have bands that play. They have an arcade. They have a laundry mat. They have, you know, the cafe. Beach Everything that you could want. You, you can go rent fishing. Boats. Yeah, yeah awesome. it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And if you do it enough, I mean, you meet so many new friends that are out of your, your wheelhouse. It makes it really cool. And then you go traveling with them. They call that caravanning, right? Absolutely. You know, what most people do is they buy one, and then their friends want to get one. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, that happens a lot. And you have, they are friends bought, and they bought this one, and we want to look at a couple. It, it's just a really neat uh, thing to do. Where California is a four-season state, Southern California especially, you could just go camping year-round. You have to worry about the snow. And it never rains too much. And even in the rain, it's bitching to go camping anyway. So let's say I'm a first timer, okay? Um, and I come down to Mike Thompson and, you know, how do I know what to get? How, what, are you, what are you guys going to help me with here? I mean, I've got a family, two kids. Um, I got a small SUV. You know, what's a good thing to put me into? How do, how do I know what to go with? Well, we're going to ask you as a salesperson, we're going to ask you how many beds you need. Then we're going to say, what kind of length are you looking for? And then we're going to say, what kind of payments were you interested in? What's your affords and your budgets? And then how are you going to use it? You know, because a lot of people are using them as offices. Not everybody's camping. I mean, some people want to use them like a toy hauler. They use the back of it as, a, as an office. Uh, or they take them to use it for like a dog shows and things like that. So you qualify and you find out what they're going to be using it. Well, I could use that as an Airbnb, couldn't I? Yes, you could. That's being done all over too, stationary and mobile, for sure. That's pretty cool. That is a thing, yeah. People are renting out their own RVs. You know, there's several websites now that you can get an RV from the person that owns the RV. I was going to tell you too, Hammer, you brought up uh, being out there and having to worry about stuff. And when we were talking campgrounds, it reminded me, I've never seen any place in the world where people are more friendly and helpful than a campground where there's RVs. So if you got out there and you're like, how do I do this bathroom thing again, someone will be happy to come over and show you the whole thing. Well, it's pretty interesting. I've, I've, I've learned this through the years, um, is that people in this genre, they're very patriotic and they all have the same interests. So they, it's, there's a lot of camaraderie there, period. Yeah. There's a lot of different clubs that where the people like to do certain things, whether it's long distance traveling, close traveling, same type of, uh, brand, they all go in packs. That's true. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of bonding. Well, it's, it's like brought a lot of people back together that have had maybe issues, you know, they maybe a relationship got stale over the years and they decide to get an RV. And I, the stories I've heard about that are endless. It's a great way to bring people together, either your own people or the new people that you meet. Well, it seems like a win-win to me. That's that's all I can tell you. Uh, I think uh, if you guys are thinking about getting an RV, you definitely have to go down to Mike Thompson's. Um, they've got five amazing stores, amazing, amazing salespeople, and the service, absolutely awesome. But the best thing about it is you can do it from your own home. You can sit there and go to MikeThompson.com and go online and just see all the coaches that they have. They got pictures of them and all the amenities that they have. So what do you think, Brandy? We should uh, go get on the computer and check them out. I mean, I'm game. It's Mike Thompson's RV Superstores, right? But when you go online, it's MikeThompson.com. So remember that, right, Dino? No plural. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hey, I was thinking about Hammer. Some of the jokes that my father used to tell around the around the campsite. He'd be like, "Did you hear about the two battery chargers that walked into a bar?" And we'd say, "No, Dad." And he'd say, "Yeah." The guy said, "I'm going to serve you guys, but don't try to start anything." <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dino. <laughs> so, listen. I want to talk about the internet. Yeah. Okay, a lot of people, you know, they don't want to go in and uh, check things out. They're still maybe a little timid. So what are, how do we handle that, guys? Well, I was going to say, Dean here is 
in the internet and sells all over the country. So I'll let him get into that. But we happen to have Chris here, our internet manager that works with Dino closely. So I'll jump out and let Chris get in here and talk to you about it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So it's kind of a cool deal, especially during the pandemic. People didn't want to come in to be uh, face to face. And even before then, there's some folks that just like doing business on online. Like I deal with the whole United States and I get phone calls from New Jersey or from South Dakota. And our inventory is such that people want to come by. And plus we have uh, ambient temperature. That's great. Our coaches aren't going to be snowed, snow sitting on the on the on the lot it's going to be a fresh coach here in california right well Dino, you, you know it's interesting um and i'm sure this is true for a lot of people nowadays my last 10 15 cars that i've bought mm -hmm. i never went to the dealership right i bought them online and they were shipped to the house correct and we did a lot of that and so basically we we get uh folks we take if they're we're taking it to trade we do all the paperwork over over the internet and we also uh We'll work the deal out and we'll also get their financing ready. And a lot of times we'll go to the airport, pick them up, bring them down. They'll do the orientation and away they go with their coach. Brandy, doesn't that sound like a good way to go? I mean, <laughs> I feel like they're doing pretty much everything for you. So it's perfect. Yeah, just hand it to you. So, Chris, tell me about the Internet sales over there at Mike Thompson's. Segwaying off what Dino told you, it's uh, really and what Brandy said, actually, we are trying to do everything for you, trying to make it really easy to do the shopping from your couch, from your office. Um, Dean and I have delivered coaches personally, Palm Springs, Santa Maria, California, Santa Barbara. Uh, we did a little road trip with some paperwork and <laughs> we'll deliver them too. Oh, so that's cool. So uh, as a consumer, I'm talking to you uh, via the internet and I'll probably talk to you on the phone, but then you're the same guy that delivers it to me, huh? Absolutely. If, if that's what, you know, that started in the pandemic and uh, Dean's a great salesman for us. So he wasn't going to let anything, a pandemic included, slow us down. So there were times that we would hop in with the paperwork, deliver it to the customer, go over the paperwork, explain everything, and then show them the coach, make sure they were comfortable and head back to their, back to camp. How, how far do you travel in order to, to deliver these? Uh, I think we'd go, we deliver them all over the United we'd States. We'd go anywhere. <laughs> all yeah. over the United States. Do you, do you trailer them or do you put the miles on them? We'll put the miles on them. Okay. Yeah, you can't trailer okay. them. They wouldn't fit under but some I, I like that bridges. you say that, Brandy, because a lot of times we'll have a, a service take it to them instead of us. And then right. we'll have the paperwork already sent to them. They've sent it back already. Okay. So, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, though. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, that's something that, you know, you, you have to think about, you know, if you're you're buying a new vehicle, you want it to have, you know, as little miles as possible once you receive it. But, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if I, I understand what you're saying, Brandy, but I don't know if I would care about that because well, you didn't have to drive across country to buy it and you got a good deal. You yeah. know, I mean, I, 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 I I'm 100 percent with that. I'm just curious. Yeah, a lot of people that fly in from from different uh, states, they're going to drive it back home. Yeah. Either way, either way. But has has it changed a lot, guys? I mean, you, you guys have been in this business a long time. Uh, you have a lot more people buying on the Internet, don't you? Oh, it's Internet driven right now. And folks want to find out what they could buy it for, uh, what the terms are, how the financing is, how much is my trade, how much can I buy it for? I've got a deal over here. Can you guys match that? How do you go over, you know, uh, showing me the coach if I buy it on the Internet? Oh, that's easy. That's, okay. Yeah. I do FaceTime all the time with coaches, with people. I'll just call them. I'll do a FaceTime. I'll walk the coach. I just did it this morning for some folks because the, the ladies like to see the cabinets in real lighting. So I'll do a, uh, I'll do a FaceTime or then I'll shoot video for them. They'll shoot, little bird send, send it to them and I'll call them and we discuss it. Well, that's just like being there. Yep. I mean, it's perfect. And you've got a tutorial, you yep. telling me exactly what I need to what yeah, I need to some, do. Something's really important to them. They'll say, can you focus on this? Can you show me this? Can you show me that? I want to see the front seats. I want to see this. Can you function the jacks? I'd like to see how those work. Chris, what's your favorite thing about the RV business? Uh, I just think the diversity and the fun. I mean, we're selling fun. And in the internet especially, there's no one size fits all. You know, whether it's FaceTime, whether we're doing a walk around video, our website has Matterport videos. Uh, we're flexible and it's a fun job. I mean, it, it differs every day. Well, you're selling memories, right? Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Do you, um, do you customize the RVs? We can. You can? Um, yep. Just 
we have we'll customize for people with disabilities if they need to get a wheelchair in or accessibility I just mean like it, I want this color cabinet I want this you know flooring, we do that as well you know yep wow that's impressive so listen uh when you're out there when you're on the internet you go to mikethompson.com and they'll show you the coolest RVs on the planet great place to buy one so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on happening now it's happening